Hey, it's Luke from Maximum Pop Books. We're at Yauk and Darren Shanti. How's it going? Good, very good, thanks. Good, it's nice to meet you. Um, we're at Yauk, uh, you said you just arrived, so you've not had a chance to explore much yet? Or? Not much, no. I had meant to have a look around this morning, uh -huh. but um, then I realised I had work to do. All right. So, <laughs> the life of a writer, we don't have set hours, but that means we often get surprised by our work and yes. realise, oh, hang on, this needs to get done <laughs> now. So I've been in the last couple of years, so I'll keep sitting around it before. Uh, I think right. I'll get a bit of time later on to have a little stroll. Yeah, nice one. What's kind of your favourite thing? What do you love about Yauk when you're here? I just have to enthuse some of the people I see. Yeah. You've got everyone dressed up and everyone's sitting patiently and getting really excited. You know, do, doing the events, getting loads of questions. There's a real buzz to it. It's um, cause often, yeah, I do lots of book events, and often it's very quiet and very, yeah. very polite. We're too polite sometimes. Okay. Whereas here you get that enthusiasm really coming through yeah, visually, awesome. visually and audibly, so yeah, yeah that's good fun. Cool. Awesome, all right. Um, obviously, the zombie series is massively successful. Um, Goddess came out uh, April as well. Um, what what was it that drew you, drew you to zombies? Like, why, why was that the thing that you, you wanted to write about? The zombies actually were secondary, okay. which sounds strange when I've written 12 books about yeah. zombies. <laughs> but um, I, wanted to write, I wanted to write about racism and okay. the growth of extremism, you know, what we see at the moment with Donald Trump and the yeah, States, yeah. UKIP over here. And I thought, well, how can I do this in a way that will entertain the fans, but make them think at the same time? Uh -huh. And uh, the early zombie films, the Romero films, they dealt with these sort of issues. Yeah. And I thought, well, let's, let me tap into that. Yeah. And so I use zombies to focus entertainingly on these very, very serious issues. So yeah. I create this very real packed, action packed storyline, but also one that you know, deals with issues like the rise of the far right and what happens if we don't take a stand against them. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting stuff. That's cool. Uh, what kind of things are you working on at the moment? Have you got some projects in mind right now that you um, can talk about? Uh, I do have projects in mind, yeah. can't talk about them just yet. Okay. Uh, I work in a very strange way. I always start a book at least two or three years ahead of when it's due to be published. Really? Okay. I like to get the works in the can before I sell them to the publishers because that way there's no pressures and no deadlines to meet because yeah. I've got the work done. Okay. So um, I'm well advanced on my new series, but at the moment it's still top secret. Nice. All right. Good little tease. That's good. Um, what's your kind of writing style when you when you sit down to write a book? Do you take yourself away, or do you like to have friends around, or what, what works for you? If you get much writing with friends no. around. <laughs> I thought maybe ideas, but then uh, unless they're zombies who just sort of shuffle around in the <laughs> yeah. background. No, I like to. Um, I work. I write in an office. I okay. like to work at home. I, I do a lot of travelling, but I tend not to write on the road. Uh, I go for it health level. I like to do about three thousand words a day, which is about ten A4 sheets of paper. Okay. And then I bang it out as quickly as I can. And then I can sort of relax and yeah. watch some movies and TV. Nice. When you're not writing and you are just chilling out, what, what are you into? What are you watching right now? Oh, well, what am I getting through? I just saw Game of Thrones, obviously, the latest series. Uh -huh. I'm catching up with Dexter. I missed Dexter in its first round, so I'm at the second last series of that. Okay. I'm often behind on my TV shows. Walking Dead, I'm quite up to date with. I'm not sure what to start next. Might might delve into Lost. So I've never seen yes, Lost. Yes, that's so a bit. If you're going to delve into it, put some time aside because that will take a while. <laughs> it's a big old series, isn't it? That's cool. Uh, we're well, asking everyone here: what is one book you would uh, recommend everybody read? Um, um, I mean, a book that was a huge book for my childhood and teenage years. It's a pretty obvious one, but Lord of the Rings. Uh -huh. I just think that's such an amazing read, and it's been so instrumental, like everything the last fifty years, even yeah. when you're not playing in the Lord of the Rings camp, uh -huh. you're, you've got it in your mind, yeah, you're, 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 you're riffing off of it. So yeah, Lord of the Rings is the one that I think, to understand fantasy, yeah. I think you really have to read Lord of the Rings. Absolutely, good advice. And uh, finally, um, what one thing are you going to definitely do whilst you're here at Yauk? Have you got something in mind you want to see or something you want to meet? Or I just want to make sure I sign every book for every fan who comes. Yeah. Uh, I hate to send fans away disappointed, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm here to do their bidding. Nice. Bernie organ grinder, hunter monkey. I'm just going to go out and dance whatever you want me to dance. Excellent. Top man. All right. Thank you very much, Darren. That was a treat. Uh, you can thumbs up this video um, and subscribe as well and check out Darren's work. Cheers. Thanks.